Hello, wonderful people. My name is Gail Allers. My friends at the Empowerment Factory call me Miss Gail, or the Ambassador to Joy. I am an artist and an educator, and today I am here as a team member of the Empowerment Factory's Creative Squad. And today, you are all part of that squad. At the Empowerment Factory, we blend social emotional learning with art, literacy, and environmental education. We believe in believing. We think that everyone should have a chance at having a happier, healthier life. We offer creative play that focuses on creativity, self-esteem, and civic pride. Normally, we would be at your school, or you would be here with us at the Empowerment Factory, but that can't happen today. So we are going to create a series of videos to bring the creative squad to you. These videos will be available on YouTube, on our channel, and on the Empowerment Factory's Facebook group, Empowered Kids and Families RI. All you have to do is ask to join the group, and you will be able to post pictures of your art, projects, and poems, and more. When posting, please use one of our hashtags, hashtag creative squad, and DIY happiness. We want to stay connected and are interested in what you are doing at home. Today, we will be doing a creativity project we call My Emoji Workshop. I invite you to follow along and after watching to create your own artwork and share it with us. You can post your artwork on our Facebook page, Empowered Kids and Families RI. We usually start the Creative Squad Club with mindful moments followed by reading a book together and doing a creativity project. Mindful moments help us calm our mind and find our center. Today we are going to do our mindful moments by breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. We are going to place one hand on our tummy and one hand on our chest. We will breathe deeply and slowly. And as you breathe in through your nose, you will feel your belly expand. And when you breathe out through your mouth, you will feel your tummy flatten. I am going to need some help ringing the chime. Luckily, Miss Emily is here. Miss Emily, will you come and help? Yes, I would love to help. Oh, wonderful. Here's the magic chime. Thank you. Would you like to do a sample chime so they'll know what to expect at home? Sure. Good job. Wonderful. Miss Emily will be ringing the chime six times. When you hear the first ring, we'll breathe slowly through our nose in. And when you hear the next chime, we'll breathe slowly out through your mouth. How many times will we ring the chime? Three times two is six. Six times. Okay, squad, here we go. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, great job. Thank you so much. Is it okay to ask for help if you need help? How does it make you feel when you help someone? It makes me feel really good to be helpful. Well, I appreciate your help today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mindful moments are a great way to calm your mind and help get those creative juices going. You can do your creative moments anytime during the day, in the morning when you wake up or before you go to bed. I hope you enjoyed our mindful moments and now it's time for us to talk about our project. Okay, so the next thing we usually do in the creative squad is read a book and then do a creativity project. Reading is fun. Books are great. They teach us or entertain us. We love books. Today, instead of reading the book, I will show you one of the books we like to use when we're talking about our emotions. I love this book. It's called F is for Feelings by Goldie Miller and Lisa A. Berger. 
illustrated by Hazel Mitchell. Everyone has a lot of emotions in them. They feel them in our bodies and our minds. Being able to share your feelings and talk about how you feel with the people you trust is important. But sometimes knowing the words or just sharing those words are difficult. Sometimes drawing our feelings is an easier way to show and express ourselves. In these pages, you'll see different words like R is for respect and Q is for quiet. It shows us many different ways that we feel. Since we're not reading the book, I have this page to talk about some of the different ways you might feel, like happy or brave or thankful or excited, confused or sad, terrific, proud, determined, mad, nervous, lonely, embarrassed, grateful, kind, silly, and loved. To do this project, you just need some paper, a pencil, or crayon, or colored markers, whatever you have handy. You're going to start making your emoji by just making your shape and then starting to fill in some of the details. Making art is as much about the process as it is about the final product. There's lots of colors that are associated with feelings. People often say, I'm feeling blue. But they never really say things like, I'm feeling orange. That's kind of funny, huh? Today, my feeling is feeling happy because I am here with all of you. Here are some examples from past Creative Squad members. This is strong, mad, sad, and happy. I look forward to seeing what you will create. Remember that making art can be as much about the process as the end product. In other words, don't worry that you're doing it right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. Progress, not perfection. Just enjoy your creative time. Your creative brain is like a muscle. The more you use your creative brain, the stronger it will get. Thank you for spending time with us today. You can follow us on YouTube, join our Facebook group, Empowered Kids and Families RI. We'll be looking forward to sharing more happy moments with you and seeing what you create. Until then, keep creating.